All right, hi guys. I thought I would make my winter outlook video now that it's October. And so I hope you enjoy this video. And if you haven't joined my pro site yet, I invite you to do that. Uh, you get lots of extra information there about the weather of the Ohio Valley. You can join at www.patreon.com slash Ohio Valley weather. Well, when it comes to this winter, I think one of the big uh, factors that we need to consider is the Tonga volcano eruption uh, that actually began last December 20th of 2021. And it ended with a huge eruption of that volcano on January 15th of this year. This eruption of this volcano um, is the largest volcanic eruption since Mount Pinatubo in 1991. And, and, and honestly, we really have never seen anything like this volcano before uh, because this was actually an under the ocean volcano that erupted and threw huge amounts of aerosols and particulate matter into the atmosphere, along with a huge amount of water vapor into the atmosphere. And so while I'm going to compare it to Mount Pinatubo, uh, really there has not been another volcano uh, that has erupted in this way during modern times. But if we look at what happened with Pinatubo, this is a graph of the average temperature of the Earth uh, taken from 1991 to 1996. And you can see right over here in, in the middle of 1991, it was actually June 15th of 1991. That was when the Mount Pinatubo volcano erupted down in the Philippines. And you can see here just several different ways of measuring the Earth's average temperature. And no matter which way you look at, uh, you can see that there was a dramatic drop in the temperature of the Earth uh, following that volcanic eruption. And really, even five years later, uh, the temperature had still not fully recovered uh, to the level that it was at before the volcano. And so if you think about some of the things that happen in here, uh, 92, 93, 94, these were harsh winters uh, in North America and the United States. You think especially 1993, many of you will, will remember the blizzard of 1993 that happened in March of that year. And so these hard winters that we had in the early 90s can largely be attributed to the eruption of Mount Pinatubo uh, on June 15th of 1991. And so I am anticipating uh, that we're gonna see a similar effect from the Tonga volcano that erupted just a few months ago. <clears throat> now, another thing I wanna point out here is this high pressure over the Pacific Ocean. Um, Another thing that we have going on right now is a strong La Nina. La Nina is when the Pacific Ocean waters are cooler than normal. And when that happens, that often results in a high pressure system over the Pacific Ocean. And this is going to cause a, a ridge of high pressure over the Pacific Ocean and the Western uh, United States which is most likely then going to result in a trough of low pressure that is going to bring colder temperatures to the Eastern United States, including the Ohio Valley. And speaking of that, this is, um, uh, this is a map of the polar jet stream that is being projected for just a few days from now. This is for October the 7th. And you can see that pattern that I'm talking about here, this ridge over the west. And then in the east, we see this trough that is gonna bring colder air down into the Ohio Valley and uh, the Eastern United States. Um, and then this just shows that temperature anomaly 
another thing that this is going to do, it's going to cause a positive PNA. And you can see that positive PNA right here with this red color. Uh, the PNA is that Pacific North American teleconnection. And when the PNA is positive, it means that we're going to have warmer than normal temperatures in the Western United States. And when that happens, that normally forces colder temperatures into the eastern United States, including the Ohio Valley. And you can see this is uh, the map just for a couple days from now. This is for October the 3rd, which is Monday. And we can see that positive PNA already starting in uh, by Monday, which is going to bring cooler temperatures uh, to the Ohio Valley and eastern United States. Now, this is a temperature anomaly map of the northern hemisphere, and so I want you to see what's already starting to happen here. Um, you can see already up here over Asia and uh, uh, most of Russia, we're starting to see extremely cold temperatures go into place. We're also seeing cold temperatures over Europe and we've got cold temperatures here up in Canada. And what we're gonna start to see, I believe, is an expansion of these colder temperatures. Um, and again, this is largely due to that Tonga volcano eruption. And so if we go to the next slide here, you can see over here, over Asia and Russia, that uh, cold has expanded even more. And notice now that some of that is spilling down into North America. Notice this is uh, projected for October the 8th, Saturday, October the 8th. This would bring much colder than normal temperatures into the Ohio Valley in Eastern America, Eastern North America. And that's going to result probably in our first frost and maybe even some hard freezes there uh, by next weekend. Now, this next map, notice this is showing snow depth anomaly. And what I want you to see here, is, and this is just uh, this is just for seven days from now, October eighth. Notice all this blue uh, over Russia here. This blue over Russia is showing significant uh, snow accumulation already by October eighth. And normally, what happens in Russia and Siberia is going to be a precursor to what starts to happen then in North America. So as we see this snow starting to accumulate over Russia, we can just bet that in a few weeks that snow is going to be pushing in our direction. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, what about all that red over the Arctic Ocean? So yes, um, there is going to be warmer air over uh, the Arctic Ocean, uh, but what that's going to do is it's going to result in increased evaporation over the Arctic, which is just going to supply more moisture uh, for snow all around the northern hemisphere. If we push this forward towards the end of the month and then focus in on North America, you can see now this is for October 27th and all this blue up here in Canada is showing a significant snowfall anomaly. In other words, this is meaning significantly more snow than normal. Um, these light blues and into the darker blues there, you're looking at 6 to 12, maybe even up into 18 inches here for the darker blues, where you have that much snow more than normal over what you would see uh, for a normal year. And so I know you're not seeing this down into the United States yet, uh, but just what this is showing is that it, it's coming. It's coming, and I, I definitely think this is going to be a year where we could see more snow than normal. So this is just a, a temperature anomaly projection. Uh, this is based on the CFS model, and this is what is being projected by the CFS model for October the 25th. And if you look in here uh, at Columbus, Ohio, notice that it's showing a temperature anomaly of negative 14 degrees. That means uh, the projection would be that the temperature would be 14 degrees colder than normal. Well, on a normal day, uh, a normal October 25th in Columbus, we would see a high of 62 degrees. 
but with a deviation of 14 degrees below normal, that's gonna look like about a high of 48 degrees and a low of 28 degrees uh, by October 25th for Columbus, Ohio. And just looking ahead, those temperatures would be normal for November 25th, not October 25th. So it's looking like here over the next couple of weeks, we're going to see fall and winter progressing so that we are basically about 30 days ahead of normal. Um, so through October, we're going to start seeing temperatures that we would normally see in November. And then by November, um, we could start seeing temperatures that would be more normal for like December or January. So in other words, what I am thinking is, this winter is going to come soon and it's going to be very cold. Now, um, I haven't put anything in here as far as snowfall predictions, but with temperatures this cold, we're definitely uh, going to have a good chance of seeing snow sooner than normal. And that snow could be accumulating on the ground uh, sooner than normal. So I am planning on making some more videos like this over the coming weeks. This will just be the first of many. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. And if you haven't joined my pro site yet, I hope you would consider doing that. Again, you can join there at www.patreon.com slash Ohio Valley Weather. Thanks for watching.